for anybody that wants to do their own logo or come up with a logo scheme all by themselves, uh, let me give you a few ideas. Um, if you type, uh, let's just go to logos, uh, PNG. I type PNG in there just because I want it on a transparent background and that's what PNG is. It's a high quality graphic. Uh, and usually if you type in uh, like logos PNG you can find a lot of them with um, a lot of uh, logo ideas that are on transparent backgrounds that sometimes you can use some of their logo you can't obviously steal anybody's logo but uh, you can uh, create one that and make it your own so if we type that in we go here we could click on like images and then we can surf all the images and if we click on one of these see how it's on a transparent background right here but for my uh, for what I'm doing I'm looking for just kind of like a background uh, to where I can put my uh, my name into so I've already found one, but this will give you some ideas. It'll help you uh, if you go to here and you look around. It'll give you some ideas of what really good logos look like, and you can probably create something for yourself. But I already found one that I liked. Um, and... I'm going to create my own out of this. I'm going to take this and I'll show you here in a second. See, it's on a transparent background. So what I'm going to do is right click on my mouse. I'm going to copy this URL right here. And then I'm going to take it and I have uh, GIMP uploaded into my onto my um, hard drive. So I'm gonna edit this in GIMP software. It's a free software. If you don't have it, it's just gimp.org and you can download it there. But I'll take you over and I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna uh, redo this and make it my own. After we grab the URL, we can come over here inside GIMP and then we can come over here to File, uh, Open Location. And then we can just uh, type in the uh, paste in the URL that we just uh, picked up from that image. This image is going to be really large, so I'm going to have to we'll scale this image real quick, um, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to scale it down so you can see everything. Okay, that should be good enough. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove this Jersey Shore inside here uh, so I can make it my own. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the side panel and I click on this eraser tool. And then over here it comes up, um, eraser in the tools option. And then you can just resize it and choose the tool that you want to use. I'm going to use the square tool um, for this box. So then we're just going to come over here and start erasing this as best we can without removing anything that we want. Okay, that's it right there okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, I'm gonna put my name in here and so we're gonna come over here to the a letter here and click on that and then we can come over here and uh, put the name in here since I'm uh, branding myself for this uh, particular uh, website theme I'm gonna use my name and I'm gonna try and find a font that's similar to this, uh, the drippings of this uh, license plate is what I, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be. So I chose Living Well, but you can click on this and choose from hundreds of different um, fonts. 
And then all I'm going to do is uh, resize this up here. We'll make it 110 even. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to come over here to the move bar. And we're going to move this out of the way so we can put my last name in here. And then we'll rescale that up. Hundred and ten even. Okay, and then we got one more. Since my URL is Glenn Andrews Online, I'm just gonna put that on here as well. Scale that up. I don't have to scale it. We'll just go to ninety. Okay, now I have to take and flip all these, uh, the text images here. So we're going to come over here first and choose um, the text that I'm going to be flipping one at a time. So then I come over here to the toolbar and click on this rotate tool. And then I come back over here to the text and click on it. And then I just click on it and just turn it. Okay, then I come over here and click on rotate. I'm going to do the same for the next two. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, I got to click on it up here first, and then there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here to the Move tool. Click on the Move tool. And then we're going to position all these where we, wherever I want them, wherever they look best. Okay. Put this here. And then we'll take this bottom one and we'll just kind of move it over to the side. All right, there you have it. That's what I'm going to go with. And then I'm going to come over here. Let me just move this out of the way so you can see it. Come over here to your file here. Click on File. And then you just export this to your one of your folders. Oh, one of your folders on your uh, desktop. Pictures. And into any folder. Click on Export and then you're good then you just go to your website so here you are right here it's in the top and if you have any questions or comments just uh, leave them below this video and I'd be more than happy to uh, help you out if you're having trouble with your logo